Alright, this is projector, dude. This is how to get uh, 4K video. I think the best way to get 4K video, in my opinion, anyhow. This is the uh, Samsung S9 Plus. And this is using a Ugreen HDMI adapter. I don't know if you can see it down there. Um, but basically, it's a little dongle that has uh, an HDMI out on one end. And it has a wire coming out that's USB-C that connects to your phone. It also has a, a power port that plugs in with the USB-C, so it charges your phone while you're using it. So you can use it as a media center, not worrying about the battery draining down. So it's important that you get the Ugreen. A lot of these do not work, and a lot of them are fake. So even if it says Ugreen, make sure that you're getting it from a reputable dealer. And it's, it's real, because a lot of them are not going to work. Uh, it has a 56-gig card in it. I mean, a 256-gig card, and it is a V30 uh, Type 2 uh, U3, which means it's a super fast video card that's basically it's optimized for Android 4K. Do not buy your card on eBay or Amazon. Uh, buy it from a reputable dealer, somebody like b and Fedo or, or a reputable dealer, so that you're getting a real card, because half of the cards out there are fake. You're going to get them for a good price. Get them back, find out there's only 8 gigs in them. Uh, but it's coming off my projector, and that is an Epson, that's a 5040, uh, that's got about 1,800 hours on it, the bulb, or it probably has 800, I just put another bulb in it, because I got a bunch of bulbs being a dealer, but uh, here is the pick, that's a 120 inch pick, and this is set up, uh, you can see the little, whoops, what I do now, ocean sun, so, wrong one. Here we go. This is, you see the little 4K thing down here. And that's a 120 inch pick. That's actually just a cheap uh, rollout screen. It comes in a roll, it's really thick, it's PVC. Right now I'm on uh, mid lamp which means um, it's not low and it's not high, it's in between, it's medium lamp. It, it's, there's no HDR10 or Dolby Vision or any of that crap on it. It has a tendency to make the picture too dark. I mean, I'm an HDR fan for flat screen, especially if you have local dimming, but they don't really work all that great for... Everybody's like really keen on it and it's like, I don't know why. Uh, it doesn't work well for projectors. Now this particular, this video is coming off of YouTube and there are no commercials because it's on Ghostry which is an add-on that you add on and it blocks the commercials. You just really got to know what you're doing with it. Uh, try to blank out a bunch of Google stuff. Don't let YouTube on your phone like kill that app. It seems like the, the, when you're logged into Google, the more that you're on Google, the more it has a tendency to want to crash and that's no accident. But I haven't seen a commercial on YouTube in years. I couldn't tell you what, what's on YouTube commercial-wise. Uh, this is T-Mobile, and it's unlimited. And I get, basically I'm doing 150 to 250 gigs a month. So some of it's 4K, some of it's 1080p. And it, it runs fast, uh, 15 megabits per second. I've never dropped under 20. Now, I pay $85 a month for two phones, and I have an unlimited hotspot, but I've had it forever, and I'm grandfathered in. So, basically, my phone runs a hotspot that, that never shuts down either, and that runs fairly fast. So, I said, everybody is like five megabits per second. And uh, that's uh, LG. That's an OLED. And that's got a nice pick, too, and that does better with HDR, but... The LED picture's always been a little bit on the dark side anyhow, so it doesn't really benefit. I think, you know, if you have a QLED, I, they seem to work great uh, with the HDR signals. It just seems like the, the darker OLEDs, and that one already has a little bit of burn in. It's almost two years old. I bought it at the same time I bought the projector. But yeah, um, Samsung S9, any of the higher end phones that put out 4K, uh, 60 hertz, and a 4K adapter. And a good card, good fast card to, to store everything in. And I mean, 
you really don't need HDR. I mean, the LCD projectors are amazing color-wise. The DLP is not so much. As a matter of fact, if you're going to get a faux 4K projector, stay away from the DLPs. You're going to be a little disappointed. The picture stability is not the same. The color saturation is not the same. They have a tendency to be sharp, but it, you, at the price you pay, it's just the color's just not there. Uh, just stick to the Epsons or a JVC or an L-cost projector if you can afford a 4K uh, projector. Even the 4100 and <coughs> the Epson 4000, which are, are, are really good projectors also. So they're going to give you an amazing pick. Now, I do a lot of torting, so this phone basically, you know, I don't really pay for movies. There's probably 30 movies in here that are 4K. And you just have to be careful with the torrent sites you download from if you're not used to torting them. I'm, I'm on a VPN. I've had three VPNs. Though with T-Mobile, you don't really need them because they're German. They don't really give a crap. They're not going to send you a violation of notice, a use notice. And to get 4K, you really got to use a, a decent adapter. I mean, you can't mirror to your TV because it's going to come out to be 1080p. It's not the same. It, it doesn't have that kind of ability. You've got to use the HDMI adapter. Try to use a 2.2 HDMI. The, this is a 1.4 and it's working fine. So, so much for that crap. And this is a 25 footer. I got for Walmart at 13 bucks. So, yeah, the S9 uh, Plus and the S9s are they're great little. This has six gigs of RAM, so I mean it is a powerful, powerful processor. So it does the video. It's amazing with the video. And what I do is when I'm watching video like this long term, it's not burning. I just turn the screen brightness down, and it doesn't affect the brightness on the. Uh, so. Here we go. Completely turn the brightness down on that, and I'll switch to another page with a blank page, or it is it just keeps playing. Uh, but this has been Projector, dude. This is uh, this is 4K video off a of Samsung S9 Plus. My opinion, the best way to get 4K.